Hello everybody, welcome back to the only channel on YouTube that gives you the one hidden stat. The Premier League just won't tell you who's at fault for each of the goals. Match week 31, Sean, we're going to get straight into it. Newcastle versus Everton. For me, this is Tarkovsky. Two weeks in a row, first the chip that gets straight over his head that he should be getting to, another jumping problem, and then he fails to track back. Quite a simple one for you. Sir. So easy. Not as easy as mine. Yeah, WWE tryouts for the next one. Sean, who's done it? Dumb it. And he drags down Ashley Young of all people. All right. And get me a shirt that says the three commandments of what's he do. What's he done? Get me one right now. <laughs> you give the pen, you get the fault. And Paul Dummett has done it. That's pretty much it for that game. So we're going to move straight on Forest Fulham. Let's just say Hudson Adoy finding form. I know you hate him, Sean. Ah, oh, but... uh, only in a Chelsea shirt. <laughs> All right. Uh, made Tete look like he's a high school beginning of Fulham's problems, man. He's learned how game. to dribble with the ball. Yeah. It's actually impressive. Yeah, the loan and the move outs have all done their job, but now he's probably good enough to do what Nicholas Jackson's uh, supposed to be doing. But He's fully gone now. So here we go, exactly. So, that's when he gets good. Yeah, well, Tete started Fulham's problems, and this was actually quite a call. Number two, number three, and number four for Fulham all having problems this day, this game. But uh, Tete just struck a pose, just went, Hup! completely froze, as you'll see, and then hudson Adoy just had this, almost a tapping, not quite, but... Leno, mate, what are you doing? What's he done? Why has he stood three yards to the left of his goal and ten yards off his line when the ball is 20 yards out of the goal? It's barely out of the box and he's nearly on the edge of the box. Okay. But why is he there? As a goalkeeper, why is he there? As a goalkeeper, positioning is almost as important as your ability to catch, as we saw last week with Chelsea's goalkeeper. But I'm amazed you didn't give this to Bassey because... Bassi has been sold a dummy on this one. And yeah, but Keith, Leno can't see what's going on. Yeah, but he doesn't need to be all the way out of his. But there's getting sold a dummy and then there's being 10 yards off your line when the ball's only mm, 10 the yards away from you. One of the commandments up here is we don't blame the keeper if there's someone There else. isn't anyone else to blame. He's basically a centre-back and therefore not a keeper, so he can have the blame. And what number is... Uh, oh, well, that ruins my thing because I was going to have number two, number three and number four as having problems. Well, you've got number two, number 13 <laughs> and number four. That'll do. So number two, one, three. So I've got one, two and three and four. There we yeah, go, there no problem. Go. So again, number two, number 13 and number four for Fulham all sharing the blame. This goal is going to Adorabayo or Tosin as he goes by. What are you doing? What you done? Sean's favourite. Keeps backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up and just leaves an, in an acre of space more Gibbs White. What are you doing? I mean, the, the, doing? the perfect mirroring of this. Morgan Gibbs White loses Tosin in the box. Yep. <laughs> and, I mean, Tosin scores probably the most simple goal he'll ever score. It's a nice easy tap in. Yeah. It's a big unit as well. I mean, that made it 3-1. Job's done. <laughs> so this brings us to Bournemouth Palace, and this is an easy one. It's just me on this one. Sean doesn't even get a saying, so off you pop. <laughs> uh, this one is harsh, though, because it's a slip. It's Munoz. Munoz. Munoz, number 12. Munoz. And, yeah, he, he just falls ass over to it and uh, lets him in. There we go. Concedes. Wrong boots, mate. Got to put the swap ground on. Okay, moving on. Burnley Wolves. O'Shea with the first assist, but who, Sean, is that? Paul. Tomato. Been on this been been on this list a lot. We disagree again. Well, that's up to you. It's my goal. So it is your goal. Yeah. How are you not giving this to Kilman? Now, um, Semedo sticks to the back of Fafana. Yeah. And just leaves Bryn Larson, who's in his position. Yeah, but who's Kilman on? Completely, completely on his own. Kilman's on Fafana. Yeah, but Fafana's eight yards away from Kilman. Yeah, He's but Kilman's looking. in the space Fafana wants to be. In. All right, you guys got to get in the comments, settle this one. Because when we disagree, finish my point. Ah, oh, your point gone then. So. Kilman's in the space that Fafana is eventually going to end up in. Mm -hmm. He's already beat him to the punch, so Fafana has to improvise. Semedo shouldn't follow Fafana. He should stay on Bryn Larson. Because okay. a ball over the top to Bryn Larson at the back post, is that's his finish. Okay, so you're being all philosophical and shit, and I'm saying just Kilman's in the wrong place. Making... Kilman's in the perfect position. He could not be positioned better. Okay, well, get in the comments, guys. See so you think, is it Kilman or is it... Semedo. The next one, though... Is an easy one to see. Number three versus number three, Charlie Taylor. What are you doing? No, I think it should be somewhere else. <laughs> Can't argue with this one. This is three on three, eight Norrie versus Taylor. Taylor loses. I didn't even watch the goal, so mm. who knows? There you go. Brentford versus Brighton. Wrong. Arsenal versus Luton. Wrong. What? West Ham Tottenham. Oh, yeah, shit. Sean's tired today. That brings us to West Ham Tottenham. Sean, you're up first. I mean, Kufau, I rate him quite highly, mm -hmm. but he gets shown how to play football by Werner here. And the ball is just played across. It just Werner does a little bit of tricks, tricksy tricks. Mm. Actually moves the ball about while doing tricks, which yeah. is impressive. 
Not just waving his foot in front of it. <laughs> oh, that's going to do loads. Oh, so tricky. So tricky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can't see the ball. And then just taps it across and Brennan Johnson taps it in. Yeah. It's not a lot anyone could do except Kufal, who just had to not get mesmerised by the German's feet. Couldn't agree more. Bowen taking tips from James Ward-Prowse up in the next one. In swing corner. Zuma nods in. No one marking him at all. Classic Tottenham can't defend a corner. Hard to find someone to give, but I'm going to go extra harsh. I'm going to blame Basuma. He's... Marking someone else, but he's the only person that could have jumped and stopped Zuma, doesn't jump. So who's marking Zuma? Nobody. No one's at the back post. You've got Pedro Porro just stood there. There's Romero just stood there. And then Basuma just stood there. They're statues at Tottenham when it comes to corners. The classic and zonal marking from a corner. Mm. Exactly. Works well, almost as good as his high press mm. but on nine men. Exactly. Wah, wah. Next, Brentford versus Brighton. Incorrect. Next, Arsenal versus Luton. Correct. No, I mean, this one's going to be hard to say. Is is it Panjo Ruddock? It's Ruddock and Panzu. Oh. Is his name. I put, I put Panjo. <laughs> nah, Ruddock and Panzu. Yeah. What a name. I know, right? Possibly best name on the list. But he gets caught in possession deep in his own midfield. This one's easy because the commentators did our job for us. Normally they don't pitch in and say, what's he doing? But I mean, yeah, Panzu gets caught in possession deep in his own midfield. Sorry, and then, be hanging. And then just chases his tail. To try and catch Erdegaard, yeah. who eventually scores a tap in. You ain't catching Erdegaard, brother. You I do. can't, but I can't believe Havertz didn't shoot. I can. The amount of time I spent watching him in that position <laughs> on his left foot, and he would just blam it. You know Rose what? It. I'll have a go. <laughs> yeah. One in eight times, maybe it's on target. Arteta's got him on a good leash, to be fair. Uh, and uh, well, own goals are just a little too easy. Hashioka again on the list, two weeks in a row, upgraded from a deflection at the weekend to an own goal midweek. What are you doing? Wait, Dad. Get up front or get on the bench. Hashiyoka. All right, Sean, City Villa. We are up first. So many goals. Who did? Who let Rodri in? Douglas Lewis. Blame Douglas. How? Yeah. So, when the ball's cut back, Villa concede this goal a lot. Mm -hmm. So do United. It's like the two main yeah. goals they concede. Thank God. Watch the Chelsea game in a minute. But when this ball is dragged back, mm -hmm. it's not the defender's job to be marking the guy on the edge of the box because yeah. they have to mark all the people in the box. Mm -hmm. And Douglas Louise is just getting into the box as the ball is at Rodri's <laughs> yeah. foot. Yeah, no, you're not recovering. And how we hit this ball, it's amazing how it didn't go 70 feet over <laughs> the goal. This was a PAT attempt. Like, a, like, like an anti-bobble. From yeah. the NFL. He <laughs> just got under the ball and sent it as high as he could mm. and somehow it went in. Yeah, not wrong. The next goal, the, so Villa's goal, difficult one to give because City very rarely make mistakes in this centre, this section certainly. But this one thing that's going, this one's going to go to Ruben Diaz. He got a little bit like twisted up by Zaniola running into that stupid offside position, and Duran with the one-two, he just couldn't match Duran's pace on the twist up, and then Ortega came out, did everything he could. Great finish, world class yeah. finish from Duran out of nowhere. Hopefully they use him more. Name of Duran Duran song. A View to a Kill. Is that Duran Duran? It is, yeah. Fair From James play. Bond. Fair Big play. Bond fan at 48 hours. Well done. Speaking of Zaniolo, <laughs> oh my word. I know. Commentator well, did our job again. When you're stood in the wall, <laughs> all you've got to do is protect your face and jump as high as you can. Don't turn sideways, turn round or just hold the nads. For a quick second, I thought they were going to spell out your name when he jumped because <laughs> he made a perfect C he shape did. <laughs> with his hands like this and his feet Still touching Konza, he, did, he just he did. curved his body out of the way. Of yeah, exactly, it. It was like Neo. Like, Here's a gap giving Foden the luckiest goal he'll ever have in his life. Yeah, I was hoping to see someone make an R out of their <laughs> body. That's that's technique. Exactly. All right, this one is a nice easy one. Long lay got drawn in. There's not really much more I can say. He gets drawn. Foden is then just smashes this round. You can see that he just approaches the passer as opposed to staying with his man. And this one for me, some goals just escalate themselves above having a fault. Disagree. You know? No, but this is the perfect, what did I say? It's the, oh. it's the perfect tribute to Wayne Rooney, to skinhead Wayne Rooney when he's arguing with the ref and then he just turns around and wallops it in the back yeah. of the net. Okay, I see what you're saying. Rooney's there. one's a bit better, mm -hmm. obviously, but Foden... I mean, it's it might be a foul, might not be a foul, not given. Yep. He's a bit angry, so he goes in a bit harsh on Longley, gets the ball, yep. fair play to him. If he doesn't get the ball, he's off the pitch. Yep. 
because his foot starts knee height <laughs> and then like comes down, scoops it round him, and then just as a shot, hat trick for Foden. He's pretty good. Yeah, don't know what game you were watching, but Longley just booted it into Foden after he fouled him. No, no, no. That's no, no. that's the way I saw it anyway. You get in the comments, see what you're thinking. But for me, this is on the double, only double for match week 31. Longley, what are you doing? Well, it's not a double because it's my goal. It's not my I, goal. I, I, I do don't get list to put it on anyway, there. You get in the list. So what does it matter? You can no get on the list. On you the can list. get on the list. You can get on the comments and tell us what exactly we'll do. I mean, if, if you want to get on the list. <laughs> just <laughs> get in the Premier League. Fuck up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Language, boss. Language. Right, Liverpool, Sheffield. Now, keeper. Liv Chef. Liv Chef. Yeah, that's how I... Gerbich. Liv Chef Gerbich. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Uh, when when the when I was watching through the goals and I saw this was your one, mm -hmm. I was like, oh my word. Oh, I know. Oh, how man, dare they gonna have, a have a Sheffield United goalkeeper on the list and then not be Wes? I know. Fuming. I couldn't believe it. Who are they going to use now? I mean, if Wes did this, <laughs> oh my word. But this, this is like a one-time thing, I think. Well, it's very unlucky. And Darwin Nunez was very, very lucky for it to hit both his legs and go in. I mean, but still. the attempted drop kick on the keeper, by the way. Yeah, I mean. That's glorious. Sure, surely high foot ruled out. No, he's like 40, <laughs> he's not 40, obviously. He's like six yards away from him. Yeah, true. Still. He's just attempted to block it and he's done a Gareth Bale. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Gareth Bale made that, that goal famous, blocking yeah. the keeper's goal kick. Of course. <laughs> oh. Who's what, up next then? Uh, Bradley. What are you doing? The 10th um, best English fullback. In the world. <laughs> Dead best. English fullback. Yep. He's Northern Irish, mm -hmm. apparently. I still believe he's English. But um, brilliant nutmeg. Yep. From it's him. great. I know. Kelleher, no chance. Wrong goal, mate. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a shame you don't play for Sheffield United. He, he is Sheffield United quality. Because the last time you checked. <laughs> yeah, the last time I checked. And I did have to phone Sheffield United's staff yeah. to make sure they still had Fodder in them. Yeah, exactly. It was okay. Yeah. And also to check if they'd signed Bradley yeah. over the weekend. But no, they had not. And um, one of the other commandments, <laughs> score an own goal. You get the fault. Yeah, like simple as. There's not much I can do about that. Well, Sean, I know we have to respect the order of things. Your goal, my goal, your goal, my goal. But come on. This was McAllister's shining moment. Not second, taking away how sensational moment. this goal is from him. This ball was never coming back down. This was going to go into orbit if it didn't hit the net. Um, but the name of the list is what? The Ahmed Hodge list. Okay, and why is that? Because he's the best player in the league. <laughs> at getting at, the faults. At being at fault, yes. At being shite. Now, Ahmed Hodzic. Yes! He's back. He's back. He's on the list going up. Oh, my God. Don't pass it. Don't smash it. Your, your clearance is, one, awful. It's knee height against Luis Diaz, who then, it just dribbles. It just dribbles so tentatively. Go on. Two. Awaiting McAllister, I'm... who must have just gone mm -mm, mm -mm, looking at this ball like bam, chicken, wah, wah. I reckon oh, there's, there's five footballers in the world that wouldn't hit this first time and they all play for Chelsea. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And it's infuriating. Because <laughs> the way this ball rolls out to him, yeah. for, for a second I could just I could see what he saw. Yeah. I was like, you've just got to, you've got to smash You've just that. got to pelt this. You've got to smash As hard it. as you can. Yeah, and it's so nice. Like we had withdrawal symptoms from blaming Ahmed Hodzic for something because at the beginning of the season, it was every game. Yeah. Twice a game. He did the first hat-trick. He's got three hat-tricks. Exactly. So it's nice to have you back on the list, my man. Yeah. You're still on the top. You're the best at being the worst. <laughs> I can't, and... <laughs> can't wait till we get challenged by him and I have to attempt to dribble around him and he just too fits me. Oh, 100%. He just I'd ends be... my footballing oh, career. He does your groin straight in. <laughs> and, uh, about showing, so, uh, and about summing up Sheffield United's season is that they can't keep up with the rest of the league, Sean. I've I got a good one for this. Go on. Jack Robinson. He's not from concentration. <laughs> like, that's a juice joke. That's a squash can, joke. Can you, believe you can squash it? that now. Juice joke. No. Unbelievable. You've deaded my joke. <laughs> Cut your bit out. He's just given up. Like, he's just given up. Mm -hmm. Like, he's on Gakpo and then he's not on Gakpo. And obviously, Gakpo's fresh. He's just come on. Mm -hmm. And Robertson's like, I just can't be lost. But I mean, Gakpo, free header. Yep. And then I got to make a juice joke, so I'm happy. <laughs> exactly. Tell you what I was more happy about. What's that? <laughs> Chelsea scored two in added time. The Chelsea was our honestly. Oh. If any game of in Chelsea's history has ever been fixed, it was this one. Not a favour. I <laughs> cut myself celebrating. Finally, the business end of a decent match with uh, the first fault, the first goal. Conor Gallagher, Sean's favourite, 
is uh, he's the best player in the league. He's, he, he's three goals this season, so I'm not, he doesn't look like he's the best player in the league. Don't know but... what you're talking about. He's got five <laughs> in on comps. <laughs> um, it's, this is Varane. It's a deflection straight to Gallagher's feet. Smashes it straight in. We're not really going to dwell on this one. It was the start of what was glory and then turned into complete madness and then more madness, but we came out as victorious. So, Sean, who's up next? Anthony. You give Le Pen, you get Le Fold. <laughs> Easy one. It's a silly giveaway as well. Yeah. It's, it's like his knee that hits it's Cucurella's Cucurella. knee. Cucurella. I know, right? You don't, don't, got, you don't have to tackle him. Just let him dribble off the pitch. <laughs> his hair will get in his eyes. I didn't like this next one because Caicedo does give the ball away and I have to give it to Caicedo and he has to go on the list. But Badi Ashile, don't just stand there and watch it. Like, I know you're not going to get the fault, but it's part of skin your teeth. So, Caicedo, come on, look up or pass it back to the keeper. I know he's not the best at the moment. He's having a bad slump. But... He will recover. I mean, other than this, Caicedo was very good. Exactly. But of Badi Shila knew the plan. Caicedo went against the plan, mm. which was recycle it, have Petrovic clear it out or yeah. pass it. And then Caicedo was just like, oh, we'll skip a step. And Badi yeah. Shila was not ready to skip no steps. Exactly. Who's up next? This one, for me, it's chaos at the back. Yep. So we have to rehearse this. Okay. Left back is a right back. The right back is an extra centre back. Okay. Yeah, it's chaos at the back. The left back is the right back. The right back's an extra centre back. And Badi Ashile is somehow the new left back. <laughs> it, it's confusing. And then the ball gets crossed in, and Badi Ashile just stands there and spins. Just watches. Stood there, stuck in the mud. It's not even. Not, he's, he's, he's moving, but he's just walking sideways and turning. It's very concerning. I'm spitting bars. That was perfect. Right, now, I'm glad this one's mine. Because Anthony, fair enough, he gave a pen away earlier and Manchester United can do with you as they wish. Um, but that Traveller pass, mwah, sumptuous, Some, even against us. Something out of my locker there. But Garnacho should never have got this in. Petrovic, what are you doing? What have you done? If you're going to come out, clear him out. It doesn't matter. You might get the yellow, that's fine. Get the ball, clear him out. You've come out all tentative, like, oh, looking like Mr. Mai, I'm not allowed to touch some stuff. No, clear him out. He just come out like, oh, and he gets dinked from one foot away, eight yards off his line. Yeah, it's th embarrassing. Two weeks in a row, my man. Stop it. You're lucky is, we won. This was an Onana attempt at a save. Wasn't it? Where Flappy he, bird. Where, where he comes out and then just spreads his limbs as far <laughs> away from his body as possible. Yeah. And the ball goes directly next to him. Yeah. Where just if, in this gap here, if, just there. If he didn't move anything and he just walk towards the ball he'd block it 100% but instead he does a star jump like he's six come on Sean skip the next one let's go okay Dallo you give lip in you give lip on <laughs> it's a silly penalty to give away as well oh, because it's Manu Oke okay. he, he just had to keep up Dallo fell over and fouled him he didn't he, foul him on know. purpose he just had to keep up with him yeah. that's all he had to do <laughs> But, you know, those Chelsea groundsmen, they've been digging holes. Yeah, they've, <laughs> they've been digging those <laughs> little, they've put those little divots in with their pitchforks. And to end, one Chelsea have had two incredible games this season so far. The 4-4 Man City game and now 4-3 against Man United, which turning I it around twice. Which I predicted, by the way. What, predicted what? I predicted the 4 Yeah, you did predict that game. Not on video there, so who No, it doesn't count. Um, but McTominay, this is unlucky for you, my man. You, you're... Summoning Hashioka, deflecting, I, last minute winner. I cannot believe you haven't given this to Mason Mount. I'm not giving this to Mason Mount. It hits it, McTominay and goes in. Mount should be on Palmer though. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. Mount's on him, and then Palmer drifts out, and Mount's not looking at him. Rory Jennings' reaction to this goal oh, was it's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> What's the score, Mason Mount? You Judas bastard. <laughs> That about wraps up for this week's so What's He Doing? What's He Done? Match Week 31, Premier League goals and who's at fault for each and every one. Sean? If you like Le Video, <laughs> like Le Video. And if you want to see it again next week, and without having to remember, it's free. Subscribe button. Pop the comments in there as well. Who's the best? Who's the worst? That accent felt offensive. <laughs> it was. <laughs>